This is an Everything Exodus tutorial. I'm going to show you guys how to use Exodus. If you don't have a crypto wallet, I highly recommend Exodus. It's a one-stop shop where you could trade, you could store your cryptocurrencies, you can connect to your favorite exchange, you can actually connect to your hardware wallet, you can make swaps, you can stake with inside the app, and you can actually make sports bets. So let's get right into the tutorial. <laughs> for checking out the channel every day we put out a new video about cryptocurrency education markets giveaways and more make sure you hit the subscribe button and notification bell so you don't miss out on any content now let's go to the moon <laughs> So we're going to start with the wallet side of Exodus and Exodus has really grown from when I started using it. It was just kind of like a wallet and swap but they have so much features now and it was one of my favorite wallets. I, honestly, I still use it a lot. So if you're not using a wallet where you own your own private keys, I highly, highly recommend you do so. And Exodus is a perfect solution because if you don't own your keys, you don't own your coins. If the exchange you use goes down, um, if your password or email gets leaked, then you're out. You will lose your coins. Having your money on a place like Exodus, you're literally your own bank. So let's go to the wallet uh, section of Exodus and you can see all of the coins on the left side. And you can actually add more coins. So you can see here if we enable asset, we're adding those assets to the front of our Exodus so then we can easily deposit or withdraw them. A lot of the ones that aren't added aren't popular. Um, so like we could add crypto.com, which is a popular coin, you know, Dash, not so popular, was more so in 2017, 2018. Decentraland is more popular and so on. You can see all the different types of coins that you can actually add as well. And then you can see if there's treasure support, because if we go back, you saw that my account, I can actually toggle between my FTX exchange account and my Exodus. If you connect your hardware wallet, which is your treasure right here, you can actually toggle between three accounts. So imagine you had hundreds of thousands of dollars on this treasure, you connect it into your Exodus, you can make swaps within your wallet and it never leaves, it never goes to an exchange and it's so secure. Um, I just love doing it. So this is the wallet portion, just like any wallet, you'll come in here, you'll go receive, and then this is your address, and then you can go send as well, and then you can send cryptocurrency. So you can store a bunch of cryptos here, and what I love doing is I download the phone app as well, and I pair them. So then I have the same wallet on my phone and the same wallet on my laptop. Um, and it's kind of like, I use Exodus as my travel wallet. I use it as uh, like a barrier kind of. So if I'm sending crypto from an exchange or somewhere else, I kind of send it to Exodus first and then make sure everything's good. So I actually really enjoy using Exodus and we'll move on to the exchange part. So. You can do exchanges within your wallet. I'll tell you straight up, the fee is a little bit high. It probably makes more sense to do it on exchange, um, like Binance or FTX, like if you had your crypto on FTX. But if you just need to do it quick, if you need to go in and out of a coin for any reason, then I would recommend doing Exodus. I mean, like I said, the, the fee is high. So if you can do it anywhere else, probably do that. But if you didn't need to do it quick, this is reliable. Let's go to the apps they have. So they have all these different apps for portfolio, wallet, exchange, compound finance, FTX exchange, Sporex, rewards, and Exodus share, their actual stock. So let's go to rewards because we want to stake our crypto within our wallet and earn some some more crypto. I mean, it doesn't get better than that. So you can see there's Solana, there's Cosmos, Cardano, Tezos, Ontology, and VeChain. So let's either stake Solana or Cos. Let's just do Cosmos. So it says a minimum balance of 0.001 Atom is required to stake, deposit, or exchange Atom. So we're going to actually exchange Atom. And like I said, it's a little bit high, but it's all right. We're going to exchange all of our Atom or all of our Ethereum into Atom. So we're going to receive $288 and we're exchanging 294 So 
that's actually not too bad and now we're exchanging within our wallet sometimes it takes a little bit of time so we'll keep moving forward you have the compound finance here which is i believe with Dai, the stable coin um but I did a tutorial on Orion where you can actually receive 15% for stable coins and I did other videos where you can actually receive a lot higher so I wouldn't recommend staking your die in the Exodus wallet there's a lot more holding it that's all right staking it you can get way more FTX so this is cool because you can actually make trades from your Exodus um, in your FTX account so if the market's crashing if you needed to quickly change out of any assets you can see you can actually do that so I don't have a much I only have 14 cents uh, so I can't really do anything on FTX but I just wanted to point that out it's huge honestly it's like a one-stop shop if you had funds on FTX you can quickly um, through your phone as well you can sell you can buy you can do it Ever you want and let's keep moving to the sport x because we need to wait some time for that swap to happen and this is so cool you can see i have 188 dollars in usdc this is on the matic network because it, on ethereum it would cost too much let's go to ufc and we're gonna make a small bet okay let's just keep looking and this isn't like the craziest sports betting website it's just within the app so it, it, you don't expect too much i have 188 dollars and i'm gonna bet on Derek lewis big black i mean he he's he's honestly uh an awesome fighter low risk 188 gives me 280 this is next week let's place this bet um i'm gonna forget i placed this bet until I actually watch the fight, I'm gonna say, oh, I have a bet on Derek Lewis. So I just placed the bet with an Exodus, and I'm assuming when I win this, they'll just uh, throw the USDC in my account, the extra balance in my account that I won as well. So, well, the bets aren't working, so that's actually a little sad because I wanted to show you guys that they do uh, work and how to actually do them. So I'll just try Russia, let's just ape that. It's gonna work here on this random bet. Watch it just happen. I want Derek Lu okay, cool. So yeah, that doesn't work, but just easy as that. Come, place money, bet, couple seconds, it's confirmed. They throw the money back into your account. Let's go back to the actual staking. So if we go to apps, I think our swap is done now. So if we go to rewards, um, we can go ahead and stake our Cosmos. I need to you I need to go a little bit less because I need to use, leave some for gas so we're going to stake 9.3 and then earn 10.5 in a year at 13.4 APY and let's go ahead so it says unstaking Adam takes 21 days that's all right and go ahead and stake so Exodus is staking your Adam and now we're staking our cryptocurrency within our Exodus wallet honestly it's super safe and you are in charge of your funds like you're your own bank awesome Cosmos staking is active with st with staking on your Adam stake balance automatically earns rewards you can stake more Adam at any time. The more Adam you stake, the more you earn. So they even have a calculate profit here. So you can see deposit amount and then term in months. So if we keep going and checking out their apps right here, the last thing that I wanted to share is the actual Exodus shares. So we've pretty much covered everything now. The Exodus shares, you have to sign up with an account on Securitize ID. You need to like sign up, provide a ton of information, KYC, and then you can join their public offering. I'm pretty sure it ended, but you can just actually buy the stock which is exodus their coin which is exodus uh shares uh last i checked it was like 15 dollars they weren't allowing canadians to do so so i just forgot about it it's more profitable to invest in cryptocurrency in the coins that they allow you to hold i thought i might as well just mention it quickly so aside from that we went over exodus and everything it offers i highly recommend using a wallet like exodus at least a wallet that allows you to own your own keys so if you don't own your own keys you're gonna have to think about that and you know start looking at these types of wallets exodus you know harbor wallets like tracer ledger and all that great stuff so hope you guys learned from this video if you have any questions put them below and i'll see you guys tomorrow